before I start this video, I want to just say that uh, on all my videos, uh, especially the, the newer ones, I've done my best to include in the description below the video links to the products I use. So hopefully that's helpful to you. And also, uh, any notes that I might uh, make uh, in the future about a product or something or how it's worked or maybe somebody's commented and said hey uh they're uh i like your product but here's what i do so i might add some of their comments in the description below along with the product links so i hope that's helpful so let's get on with the video here this is a number two of a two-part series the first part was me cleaning sealing the roof part two is the awning part three is going to be washing and waxing the trailer so keep an eye out for part three today is clean the awning and put the uv protected on it day what we got is a domestic 9100 awning and it's not too dirty because I maintain it pretty well there's some dirty spots here not too bad I have a few stains that are from me rolling up some oak leaves in it and then not and bringing the trailer home and like waiting a week and try and clean it and the leaves stained spots and I can't get it out I don't want to use a bunch of bleach on it because then it'll damage this fabric or vinyl. So it's stained it. They're kind of permanently stained. So those won't come out, but other spots will come out a little bit. So um, like this here, this will come right out. And there's a little bit of mold here. So I just keep it clean. I wash it probably every three weeks, four weeks when we go out camping um, about every other week for three days and then we go on long trips every year so um, and I maintain it pretty well and then probably about every month no oh, about every two months I put the UV protectant spray on it and I use it's uh, made by Trinova I've had good luck with it a lot of people use the um, the 303 brand but I've been using this one and have good uh, results with it. So here's the stuff I got to use here. So I have a pump sprayer. What I'm going to do, well, what I've done is I put um, a tablespoon of bleach in it, two tablespoons of the Dawn dishwashing liquid, and this is just over a gallon. And then just for color, I put in the wash and wax so to give it some color i'm going to spray it all on the awning with a pump sprayer and then just spray both sides the top and bottom and then i'm going to roll the awning up and let it soak for maybe 10 minutes or so 15 minutes and then roll it back out and then i'm going to use my brush and spray a little more on the awning on the top and bottom and brush it and then I'm gonna rinse it off and then stick with me and I'll show you how I apply the UV protectant spray so I have also my hose ready and a ladder in case I need it so let's get this thing going hey before we get going on this uh, pump sprayer my concoction of chemicals here just to let you know Dometic recommends when you clean the awning to use a tablespoon of bleach and a tablespoon of the Dawn dishwashing liquid soap and mix it in a gallon of water and do what I'm going to do here. So I'm doing this, like I said, um, probably every month, every two months, every three weeks I wash the trailer down with this wash and wax here and uh, with this brush, soft bristle brush, and I clean the awning also. And it, and it um, maintains pretty well. And with using that uh, 
UV protectant on the awning. It keeps a lot cleaner. It's easier to clean when I wash it every three weeks. So there we go. I'm going to go ahead and um, wet down the awning first. I'm just going to wet it with water on the top and bottom with the hose. And then I'll show you what I'm going to do from there. There's a few reasons why I wet it down first. I wet it down so that it's nice and uh, wet when I put the soap and bleach on it and stuff. So I'm not just spraying a little bit of the water on it and then it evaporating quickly. This way there's a little water on already. And then also, it's not a hot day today, probably in the 60s, 70s. But if it's a, a warmer day, if you wet it down, it'll cool it down so it doesn't uh, evaporate so quickly. So I've got that the water in there to help cool it down and just uh, help get it started softening up any dirt on it before I put the spray. So I'm going to go ahead and put the spray on now. So I'm going to go ahead and start spraying this stuff on here. I'm just going to put a, a good amount on it. Not going to be afraid to use it. I'm going to spray this whole top. And then I'll go ahead and spray the bottom. And then I'll close this awning up. And let it soak in. So it's good to have a, a sprayer that can handle chemicals. Or if, if you don't have one, just go ahead and... Uh, Make sure you rinse it out real well when you're done. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray this top and then spray the bottom and close it up. I got the stuff all on there and it's, it's coated on there. You can kind of see it, the bubbles in it. I got it coated pretty well on both sides. I'm gonna roll this up and let it sit for a little bit. I've got it rolled up, so I think I might wait around 15 minutes or so. It's good I'm not doing this on a hot day or this, it would just be drying right up in the roll there on the awning. So you might want to do this on a cooler day or early morning time. And also since I sprayed on the bleach and stuff underneath it and the soaps, I got it on the side of the trailer a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and rinse off the side of the trailer to make sure there's no damage to the siding from the bleach or anything and also I made sure that I wore um, old pants and old shirt just in case the bleach discolors them so I think it's such a small amount of bleach that it shouldn't uh, cause a problem with anything my clothes or anything like that so I'll be back to you in 15 minutes or so I got it rolled out you can smell the chlorine in it. It still looks uh, moist, the material. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the pump sprayer, this right here. I'm gonna spray a section just to get it wet again with a new solution. Then I'm gonna brush it with this automotive brush. And I got my pole here, extension pole. And I'm gonna brush a section and then I'm gonna spray again here, brush here, back up, spray, brush. That way I'm not standing underneath the chlorine. And then once I got this done, I'm gonna lower the arm down on the awning and do the roof and spray it and brush it. And then I'm gonna rinse it off. I've got the bottom all cleaned. I sprayed more on and brushed it. I'm just gonna go ahead before I go to the top side and I'm just gonna rinse all this down. So I make sure there's no chlorine or anything on the siding. So it'll cause water spots all over it or streaks. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up and then I'm gonna go to the top of it and work on it. I've got the bottom side of the awning all rinsed off and the trailer rinsed off. And now I'm gonna go to the top still damp up there you can see i'm gonna use my pump sprayer and just unload the rest of the uh, soap and chlorine that i have in it 
I have maybe a quarter of a gallon or less. So I'm just gonna put it on there and brush it and rinse it off. So here's how I um, brush off the top of the awning. Since it's so far, I have this painter's pole and I just put it, my brush head on it and I'm able to reach. I have it extended and I'm able to reach up there. That other pole that I had originally on there that was gray that you saw, I use that when I clean the side of the trailer. So this one's a lot longer and it helps me reach this whole awning. So I'm gonna go ahead and brush this all off and wash it off. Everything's washed down, rinsed off, and it's been drying for a couple hours. I got it out um, so it all dry off before I roll it up. And then what I'm gonna do is tomorrow I'm gonna put the UV protection on it. But it looks like it cleaned up pretty well. Um, my spots didn't come out where the oak leaves were. There's a few spots. Maybe the vents, they'll eventually come out, but who knows? That's okay. It's a lot cleaner. And then where there was streaks here, the black streaks in the, the roof here. And then remember the, the mold that was along here on the flap, it's gone. So it's nice and clean. I'm gonna let it dry up, roll it in, and then tomorrow I'm gonna to put the UV protection on it. Well, it's the next day. The awning's all dried out. The weather's about 70 degrees. We got a, a nice breeze going. So I'll be applying this uh, UV protectant spray on here. And I'll show you something on the back here. I don't know, you probably can't see it, but it's like a sunscreen for your stuff. Um, it helps protect from the damaging rays um, of the sun. It works on a variety of things. Vinyl, plastic, rubber, fiberglass, carbon fiber, and uh, a lot of other things. So you, what you do is just spray it on a clean, dry surface wipe away the excess with a mi microfiber cloth and reapply every three to five weeks. So I probably apply it probably every month to two months and I do fine in our area. Um, and you just wanna make sure you wear gloves and don't get it in your eyes. So I, I put it in a pump sprayer and spray it a little bit on this pad here and a little bit on the, the roof. I start on the top side do it and then I do the bottom. So this pad here is just a pad that you use for uh, painting edges and stuff. So I'll supply a link uh, in the description below for that. And then I have a pole, this pole here that extends out double this length. Like you saw me washing the, the awning off with, it's the same pole. And I apply it to the roof. So it goes pretty fast. So let's get this party started. I'm going to show you just a little portion of what I do here. I'm not going to show you me, uh, me doing the whole thing here. I sprayed a little bit here on this. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray some here. I'm going to spray a little bit here. Just like that. And then I'm just going to go ahead and Run it all the way up. I'm probably going to need to put a little more on there because it's getting light towards the top when I run it up there. Yeah, I'm going to spray a little more on there. I'm not worried about putting too much on there because um, I'll be wiping off the excess later.
Need a little bit more up there on the top. It doesn't take much. It goes, a little goes a long way. So there you have it. Um, this extension works pretty good. So what I do is, once I get all this done up here, I take the end off of here, and then I just go along and wipe all the, the other edges by hand. I just hold this in my hand and rub along here. Wipe it all down by hand. So, uh, but the pole, situation here works really well on this here so I'm going to keep going and uh, I'll come back to you later I've got the top all done here and I'm going to head on to the bottom of this and show you how I do it so under here I do it a little bit differently when I'm near the trailer I don't want to be spraying this stuff um, all over because it's all over the siding of the trailer which it, it won't hurt it but I just don't want to get it on there because I'm going to be washing the trailer and waxing it later so what I do is I just take this spray and spray this on here like this quite a bit it's going to take a little longer and then I just go up here and I work it all in the seams and I just work it up here. And I'll just go along and do all this here. And then when I do the awning toward the edge away from the trailer a little bit, I'll be spraying it there on the, the roof. I'll spray it on and then I'll, I'll use the this thing and I'll wipe it all down and work it all the way up and down. So that's how that'll work. that's how I do that. So 
I got all of it done, the top of the awning, the bottom of the awning. I'm letting it dry. I'll let it dry for maybe, uh, maybe an hour or so. This, this container here, I put um, out of that big one gallon, I poured in here. I used about three quarters of this to do the top and the bottom of the, bottom of the awning. So it goes a long way. Uh, this here, I've used this probably about 10 times. I'll take it off, wash it with soap and water, let it dry out, and I'll use it again. So you can buy these longer or shorter uh, widths, um, but this one works good for me. It's easy to handle. Uh, I'll put links for it in the description below. So I'm gonna let this dry up and then I'll show you what I do next. So I've let this dry for about an hour or so, and it, uh, the sun's being blocked now uh, by the trees. It's cooling down, maybe 60 degrees. I just took a microfiber cloth and taped it onto this thing here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe it all down. It's actually pretty dry right now. So there's not much coming off. I'm going to go ahead and hit this whole roof in the top and bottom. I'm just showing you how I'm doing the top part of it. I'm not going to show you the bottom. It's the same procedure. So it goes pretty well. I'll uh, come back to you uh, when this is done. Got the bottom all wiped down with the microfiber cloth. Turns out pretty well. So after uh, having this awning for four and a half years, it still looks like it's in good shape. So I got one more thing to show you. See how nice and glossy it is? And it's not oily or anything. It feels oily. It has a slight oil to it but not much um, so it'll be good for several months but I'm gonna show you one more thing I do here so here's what I got to show you now that you got the awning all clean and nice you want to protect it from the elements when you have it parked so uh, we use our trailer about every two weeks year-round so uh, I want to protect this in between trips, but I don't want anything that's crazy that I have to cover the trailer with a big old canvas or anything or anything that would, to protect the awning, um, it would be hard to take off and on. So I saw somebody else do this and I kind of modified their idea. I got this vinyl gutter stuff at um, Home Depot and my length is roughly 28 feet of my awning. So I, um, I tried just doing two lengths and cutting it to size, or I could just put two lengths up, and it was kind of hard to maneuver up there and put them together. So I used three lengths instead. So I had to buy three pieces, they're, they're 10 foot lengths, and so they just kind of go up, I'll show you in a few minutes. They just go up here and they just set in place over the top of it in this trough. I put these couplings on it and I just pop right it in place. Right here, you can see there's a washer here and then the pop rivet, it's nice and smooth. I have three of them. I use those in place. I could have probably used some type of adhesive to glue these in place, but um, I couldn't find anything that worked real well. So I just did it this way. I put the ends on here and I don't actually slide them tight together. I just put it close like that. And I put ends like down at the other end and over here. So that if I drop it, they don't shatter. These are uh, vinyl, so if it hits the pavement hard 
it'll shatter on the edge. So anyway, um, very inexpensive way to protect your awning and it works real well. So I put it on to protect it from the elements of the sun and it seems to be working well. I've been using it for over four years because what will happen is over time too, the sun is beating down on the top portion of the awning when it's rolled up and it'll probably right on the top of it break down. And I think that's where you see a lot of them break down because they get hit by the sun a lot. So let me go up on the roof and show you how these go in place. So here we are up by the roof. You can see down there that I have two of them on in place already towards the front of the trailer. I'm gonna put this back one on here so you can see me putting it on. Okay, so you see how easy it goes on. This, this edge right here goes right down by the gutter. I'll go ahead and put it on. Just like that. It just sits on there and protects it from the sunlight. And then I go, before I go camping, I take it off. And then you don't want to remember, or you don't want to forget that these are on when you drive away, because I did that once and they flew off. So I'll show you what it looks like from below. Hey, before we go below, I just want to show you here, now I have my, my uh, camera loose, uh, what it looks like. So let me go and zoom in here. See, it goes pretty well. It sits over the gutter. It's mainly just to keep the sun off. You have this area, For some reason water will still get into your awning no matter what. Even if you have these center areas right here sealed off, I tried taping them and water still gets in to the awning. So there's no block in it. It doesn't really matter if these joints are really tight. I just have them butted against each other just to keep the weather out. So I just want to show you how it slips over this. So it works pretty well. Now I'll go down below and show you what it looks like. Here's what it looks like below, right here. They sell things that uh, cover these probably better than this, but uh, I had a neighbor that had one that was round and it slipped over it almost like a little jacket and uh, still got water in it and stuff. And um, it was kind of a pain for him to put on. So these are actually better. I think they're lighter, they're cheap, um, and they work for me. So um, anyway, I just want to tell everybody thank you for watching and and I hope you learned something here. And uh, just so you know, a reminder that I put all link to all the things I use in the description below just to help you. Uh, so if you want to tackle this project by yourself and uh, work on protecting your awning a little better, feel free to subscribe if you want. If you don't want to, that's fine. But if you do, hit subscribe and then the bell icon. And then you'll see future videos that pop up. Um, if you like the video, hit a thumbs up, thumbs down. Feel free to leave comments. I, I like comments. I try to get back to everybody as much as I can, uh, as fast as I can, um, depending on if I'm in town or not, or out camping. So um, I answer a lot of questions for people. I have uh, 70 plus videos out now, and I'm making more pretty much every week, every month. So um, hope it's been helpful. Thanks for watching everybody. Take care and happy camping. And don't forget to look for the, the next video that I'll be coming out with, which is washing and waxing the trailer. Thank you very much. Bye-bye everybody.